Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Darren and this is Electro Savvy where I talk about electricity, tools, and tech. And today I've got an interesting video for you. It should be pretty valuable. It's an awesome piece of equipment. It's been around for years. I've installed hundreds of them. And this is a floodlight weatherproof kit. What's cool about this piece of equipment is that you can screw it to anything. Uh, it's weatherproof. There's many scenarios that you would want to have this kind of quality product around your home or business. I've seen them mount on the ground where you want lights shining up on your house. Maybe you want low flood lights or something like that. Uh, they're just good for everything because they're waterproof, they're weatherproof, they're metal enclosures, so they're heavy duty. You can run EMT half inch conduit to most of them. I've even seen three quarter versions. It's good for residential, it's good for commercial grade. I've even seen this style equipment in, in industrial. Like I said, it's a metal enclosure, weather sealed, uh, you can't beat it. But anyway, we're going to take a closer look at this box and I'm going to show you what's inside of it. We're going to assemble it and, and then I'm going to go hang this thing. All right, let's take a closer look. Sigma Outdoor Light Kit. It tells you this kit contains box, cover, two lamp holders, gaskets, wire connectors, and hardware. This is a complete kit. And you can see there is a uh, part number. This one's gray. They do come in white, but this is the color I wanted. Okay, so I can tell you one thing, it's packaged pretty good. And they use some really good plastic here. Okay, so here is the lamp holders, and you can see they have this gasket. That's where when you put the big uh, floodlights, you have a seal in between the glass and the socket. So that is cool. All right, so there is the top, and here is the box. And here's some little metal instruction light kit. Get these boxes out my way. All right, so what we got here is the little threaded plugs or threaded knockouts. It comes with three yellow wire nuts and two screws where you can mount it like that in all four places. Uh, it doesn't require it. That's why they have two punched out, but if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could knock these out or drill them out. I used to just drill them out and they will actually bolt up in four places. It gives it a nice, secure, mounted seal. You always want to make sure you put your gasket on. Just a little foam cut out. And you just pull that little plug out. These little plugs are meant to go in here like this. You take your flathead and just tighten them on down. So we're not going to need this back piece open, so I'm putting it in. Now, in the past, I've had issues with these companies not giving you enough of these. So this other side, I'm just going to put a Romex connector and that should be enough for right now. What I'm going to do here is just, I'm going to loosen that. And what I used to do is just leave them straight like this until I mount them. But for right now, I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit. Let's 
got these little teeth here. See that? They kind of lock into place when you tighten down. If you do it right, they don't move. It's very secure. And this one even includes the ground, so you can actually ground each lamp holder. And we are going to do that. Just like in this box, you find a ground screw here also. And take one at a time, and put that right there through here. And this is why you want them to be straight at first, where it's just easier to twist these down. You're gonna need all of this. So let's go wire this, and I'll show you how good of a piece of equipment or device this is. All right. The tools that I'm gonna use is the Klein 14 in one screwdriver. And I'm gonna use the Milwaukee multi-tool seven in one. This is also another awesome tool. The Milwaukee automatic strippers, just because they make it so easy to strip UF cable. These are the tools that I'm gonna use. This is a Romex connector. You see it? And what this is good for is once you uh, run your wire into your box through this connector, you can strap it down where the wires are nice and secure, where they can't just be pulled out. Since this box is already threaded, take this Romex connector and you just thread it in just like so. Once it's in there nice and tight like that, now you can run your wire in and you can tighten your wire down and it will be nice and secure when you mount this thing. Here's the UF cable. Once you have it in that box like that, you just pull and it's already done the work for you. All right, so that was UF cable. Now I have my individual ground I told you I was gonna show you that. So this is my individual ground in that box. And I made individual grounds for both of the uh, lamp holders because they do have the green screws there. If your house ever gets struck by lightning or something like that, you're gonna wish you hooked these grounds up because if the grounds are hooked up right in a home, instead of it blowing out at the lamp holder or damaging some kind of equipment, the electricity will be sent to the main panel and down through the ground rod. Uh, and most likely these will work again. This is properly grounded like the manufacturer intended. Okay, before you do anything, make sure you put this gasket on first. Once you have the gasket on, then you can start with your wires.
Okay, so once you got it wired like, like this, you wanna make sure you put your wires nice and neat and fold them to where you can put this gasket on without it stressing you out so much. Real quick, y'all, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe today. Get that kind of lug down a little bit. And if you can, this falls out in the, the ridges of the tin, so you don't want it to puncture the tin, and I pre-measured that where it didn't do that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some staples and staple this back. So we got this thing on. Seem to work just fine. Let's see if this motion detector will detect us. Well, that was a fun project and that is a very tough piece of equipment. Like I said, I've used them for years, and when it comes down to weatherproof equipment, lighting, or even receptacles on running power, those weatherproof boxes always come in handy. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content you've seen in this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you got any value out of this video today. My name's Darren, and this is Electro Savvy. I'll see you in the next video.